What's going on you guys? Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Bloons Battles Tower Defense. So I'm about to jump online and pick myself an opponent. Well, I guess I don't really pick an opponent, but jump into a battle and I have upgraded a few of my tower defenses and I'm going to check them out today. I have never played with them before. I've maxed them out and so I want to see whether or not it was worth the money. So let's turn the face game on because I'm going to contact concentrate and as some of you have asked me I need to improve my win to lose ratio so I'm going to concentrate on it and not worry about what I look like in front of the camera and jump in and hopefully we can bring up that win to lose ratio so don't go anywhere I'm about to hop online see you in a second all right you guys it is time to jump in and get the monkey action on let's go ahead and uh, pick our towers right over here uh, my opponent deridian has 106 victories and 114 losses so we are very far apart in terms of victories and losses but that's okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use my buccaneer i maxed out my cannon and my apprentice is maxed out as well um, and of course i got me an agent cobra so let's go ahead and place our towers i'm gonna go ahead and put the um, buccaneer down first and then i'm gonna pop another buccaneer right over here right by the island and i think i'm gonna save the island to place one of the whoa my opponent is already missing some balloons what what in the world man we just started only round one round two okay so i'm gonna keep upgrading my uh, buccaneers i'm gonna do the same thing that i did in the last video where i'm gonna max out one buccaneer into the um uh, on a one path of upgrades and I'm gonna max out the other Buccaneer on a second path of upgrades which I can never remember names of. I don't know what exactly is wrong with me. Um, I think one is called Destroyer and another one is the one that you get after a crow's nest and extra cannon or something like that. So now let's go ahead and place our apprentice right by the entrance of all the balloons and I don't know why exactly he flashed because I didn't even have that many balloons so I wouldn't really need to use a boost but okay so uh let's go ahead and keep upgrading our buccaneers um grape shoot i think is one of my favorite in terms of graphics i think it looks really adorable and the um of course the little grapes look adorable too but adorable and adorableness aside um i really have been liking my buccaneers a lot lately i will even go as far as saying that i've been liking them more than my submarines and um, yeah, it's not due to the fact that the upgrades cost, you know, a, a different amount of money. It's not at all during, you know, due to that stuff. It's just, I don't know, for some reason I've been having better luck playing with my Buccaneer. So maybe I'm just going to chalk this one up to luck. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put one of the cannons right over here. I almost called it a mortar. Uh, oh no, 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 I'm starting to miss balloons. I'm starting to miss balloons. Let's go ahead and boost right now. Can't lose, can't lose just yet. Okay, I'm still ahead of my opponent, but that doesn't matter. I shouldn't be losing this early on. So let's go ahead and put our agent. Hmm, let's put him right here on the little island. Come on, come on, drop, 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 right, right there. Okay, and I'm gonna max him out so that he's got the attrition and finish and train for funds and basically this is really great because uh, not only am I getting money transferred from my opponent but I'm also getting his precious lives to drop and look at that I think I found my opponent's weak spot he definitely needs to be working on his leads because he's letting them through super super easily I mean he's got the apprentice but he only has one apprentice and it can't really you know help with all those lads that i just sent his way so um super awesome there and i'm letting balloons out no 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 i need another i need i need one more what this is the fastest victory ever i was just getting in the swings of it in a swing of the things all right well only 17 rounds i kind of feel like i just started playing so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh keep on playing because that was a super fast super super fast victory i don't i don't even feel i don't even feel like 
I don't even feel fair claiming that victory because the guy kind of really struggled there. He totally forgot about upgrading his towers so that they can take care of the lead, but hey, that has happened to me before in a video with the game hunter in case you guys haven't seen. He totally found my weak spot. Actually, it was a video and let me... Let me just pick my towers. Oh, helicopter. Okay, I rarely play with a helicopter, but it's okay. I didn't feel like re-rolling again. So yeah, we basically were playing a video in a video where we were challenged by our viewers to only use certain towers and we completely forgot that we could only upgrade to level three and at that level we couldn't pop uh, leads and basically he totally took advantage of it and sent me like hundreds of thousands of leads and of course I lost right away. But um, this is I think my first time playing this layout right here. I really like it. It's very geometrical and geometry is good for me because I get it. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna sort of follow the triangle shape with my uh, with my towers and I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on upgrading my apprentice so that we are getting closer and closer to the lightning spell. Lightning spell is really important and why do I call it a spell, lightning spell? Because I'm thinking of Clash of Clans. Well, anyway, I'm gonna keep on calling it lightning spell. But Lightning Spell is really important. You guys know I love Lightning Spell and then who doesn't? Because A, it has amazing reach, B, it's super deadly, and C, I mean, it's pretty wicked looking, so don't get me wrong. All other elements aside, it looks super badass. So I'm gonna go ahead and now place my, uh, my ninja monkey right over here so that he's popping the balloons that are coming right in and let's give our um, apprentice lightning spell now let's send some greens because we need some money so we're gonna be spending some greens and sending some greens to my equor brettle opponent don't know how to say that man that's a very difficult very difficult name um, all right so let's keep upgrading our towers and I want to keep saving some money um, I want to place a helipad on this map, like right in the belly of the uh, triangle and the circle um, and uh, see what good it does because like I said you guys, I very rarely use helis. So let's see what it'll do for me. In the meantime, let's send some regens and see how he'll take that. Regens went down really nicely, he didn't even struggle at all. So let's put our helipad right over here because I think that's where the balloons are gonna keep going like once they um, miss the circle. And okay, so he basically just sends out um, sort of, I don't know, bows, arrows, arrows uh, as he's flying around. That's pretty cool, but he's just sending them out when there is nothing there and they're not exactly seeking anything, so. I don't know, not a huge fan of that. Let's see if upgrading it will actually do anything cool. So let's go ahead and upgrade our little monkey right there. And um, round 11, this is going pretty well so far. Hopefully it's not gonna be another super fast game. I have been enjoying late games a lot lately. I think I've been getting a little bit better. Let me not jinx myself. I think I've been getting a little bit better in terms of balloons and uh, I'm pretty proud of my uh, little achievements. Uh, last couple of times I've played, I got several victories back to back and you know, not to brag or anything, but right as I started recording this, I got a victory already. So let's just see how this one will go. All right, so let's go ahead and, um, all right, I wanna upgrade the heli and see what the hell the heli will do when I start upgrading it. So, pineapple present and rapid fire. Let's go ahead and get the rapid fire and let's go ahead the spy plane. Mmm, very interesting. Okay, so he drops a pineapple and it explodes, but that was kind of useless because there was nothing there. So basically those are only useful, I guess like when it's, when it's a really late game and there's just a lot going on. But so far, every single one of the pineapples that have exploded had absolutely nothing in its vicinity. So, and this one isn't even gonna affect anything because it's like not even on the track. So, I am not a huge fan of you, you helicopter, you. All right, another apprentice coming to town and see like right there, it's just gonna explode, but the balloon's already passed. So, I don't know, man, I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting myself a helicopter anytime soon when I play. 
So let's go ahead and send some yellows. You guys have been busting my chops lately about sending too many greens. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go up and up in terms of balloons. And obviously it makes sense for me too because you know, whenever I send balloons uh, of the next level, it helps me with my earnings. And since I don't have Agent Cobra now, I am not getting transferred any funds. So this is kind of a helpful way to get more money. Um, all right, so my opponent is doing pretty, pretty well. He is not at all struggling. He's got one, two, four, six towers now. Two apprentices, two monkeys, and two dart monkeys. Uh, two ninjas, rather. I don't know why I said dart monkeys. Those are definitely ninjas. Okay. So we are now going on round 20, and everything is still pretty slow. But this is where we're gonna start getting camos and regions. I wonder if we're gonna get to the point where Moabs are gonna come because Moabs are gonna go really quick here. I feel like it's just a circle and it's not, you know how some other maps are like more loopy and here it's just gonna come right in and you know, and be right out in absolutely no time. So I gotta prepare my towers for late game in case we're actually gonna get there. Oh, and I think my opponent is starting to struggle and I'm just gonna go ahead and and watch him struggle and he didn't struggle all that badly. He only lost two. I'm still at 150. All right, another apprentice coming to town. I should be upgrading one of these apprentices to the dragon's breath. Probably the one right by the entrance, because that's where all the mobs are going to start coming in. Unless, of course, they're being sent to me by the opponent. Oh no, actually, I think this is the single entry and single exit kind of map, so take that back. Oh, helicopter. I don't even know that you're doing any good at all. Alright, so clays are coming in. Let's boost up a little bit. Okay, my opponent is starting to struggle. That was super fast again. You guys, I didn't even only level 23, 23 rounds, and he literally lost in a matter of seconds. He was at 130 something, and then he went to zero in absolutely no time. So this just goes to show you that this game can take a turn anytime super, super quickly. So um, I guess two victories back to back is not too bad, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna hop off here. Uh, looks like I can upgrade another tower, so let's go ahead and check that out. So basically this is what I already have, my Spike Factory, um, Super Monkey, haven't ever played with Super Monkey. My Engineer needs to be upgraded to get maxed out, but my Apprentice is fully maxed out. What else? Um, Boomerang Monkey, no, no, Tier 2 glue, glue Gunner, not a huge fan of Glue Gunner. My Bomb Tower is fully maxed out, my Ninja is fully maxed out. I should probably max out uh, my Dark Monkey, and of course I want to max out my Sub. My Cobra is fully upgraded, I actually purchased Cobra, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you next time, and hopefully I will have another awesome video. Maybe a little bit more of a longer game next time, but until then, Dangerous Thing is out.